Welcome, dear beloved. Welcome once again to our prayer promise this week. Yes, the weather's again played up a bit, <laughs> but uh, God knows why. Um, we just couldn't get out in the, in the windy situation today, but um, we're thankful we can still bring the Word of God to you today. Last week, we were speaking about faith and getting to your destiny by pressing on. Today, we're going to look at what can happen when you press on in faith. If you've got your Bibles there, turn to Psalm 62. We're just going to read two verses there. Uh, Psalm 62, verse 5 and 6. Verse 5 and 6. Ready? Here we go. The psalmist David says, My soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He's my defense. I shall not be moved. Up to there the reading, beloved. Now I've titled this morning's little message, Wait! Rock in the road! <laughs> While you're traveling through a winding unknown muddy road in the bush. You expect to at least hit a solid road, not so. Well, what better track to get when you're traveling along and find some solid rocky base under your wheels? Just look at that solid base underneath those wheels. Well, there are three reasons that you're wanting to expect that. The first reason is, the rock prevents you from sinking. Sometimes, you're in a muddy hole. Just look at that vehicle. Stuck. Wheels are spinning. But as soon as you put some rocks underneath the wheels, you stand a better chance of not sinking further and then get a grip on things. The second reason would be that the rock keeps you and prevents you from backsliding. Yes, just look at that vehicle's wheel. That rock is holding it solidly. It cannot go back. Even a handbrake means nothing to you when there's a muddy road. You're safer to have a rock behind your wheel to prevent you from sliding backwards. A third reason that you would expect to have some rocky uh, base underneath your wheels is the rock keeps you from rolling over the cliff ahead of you. Years ago, I remember as a child, I was traveling on a narrow mountain pass in South Africa. As it was not possible to put up a concrete or steel barriers due to the uh, lack of accessibility, they used rocks and packed them neatly on top of each other to prevent you from actually going over the cliff, especially in the dark when you could not see. You see, beloved, just like the psalmist learned, you press on in faith, whether you're walking or running, to reach your destination. He, Jesus Christ, is the rock in your life to guide you safely. There will be times that God wants to teach you something. But hold on to Him as He knows best and knows the road ahead of you. Just ensure that He is the driver of your life. Keep Him behind the steering wheel as you journey on safely. This is the only safe and secure guarantee of arrival. If Jesus is in control, then you can say as King David did, He is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. What a promise. God bless you. Amen.